Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarita Cucumber and today I wanted to take a bit of a step back from the theories and predictions for once. There's so much excitement and anticipation for episode 4 at the minute with it coming out less than 3 weeks from now. You feel that excitement? It's like Christmas is coming in August. Now I want to preface this video by saying that I love Life is Strange 2. Seeing the title you might think otherwise but I'll explain it. After episode 3's release, I even decided that I preferred Life is Strange 2 to the original title and Before the Storm, if you'll believe that. I don't know if I'm quite ready to commit to the idea of saying that it's my favourite game of all time yet, since episodes 4 and 5 are entirely undetermined as of now, and obviously you've got titles like Minecraft and The Sims 3 contending for that spot, but it's up there for sure. That said, I can't ignore that Life is Strange 2 has endured its fair share of issues throughout its release. Some are more noteworthy than others, you know, minor bugs here and there, of course that's to be expected, but when there are bigger issues at hand glaring at us, you can't help but discuss them. Now, I don't speak for everyone here, but I'm going to. The biggest problem facing Life is Strange 2 that the community is currently unhappy about is nothing to do with the gameplay really, it's to do with things that surround the game, namely the marketing and promotion for the game. You may ask me, but Luke, why is that a problem? You follow the game closely, you don't need it to be promoted, and you would be right in saying that, but this isn't just a case of promoting it to people who haven't played the game, there's an issue with the sparse marketing for the game. So let's take a look at the wait times between episodes. I'll get back into how this ties into marketing in a minute, but I just want to give you perspective on how long the wait is between each episode, so that my next point on why marketing matters so much really hits where I need it to. So. The wait between episode 1 and 2 was a whopping 147 days, which is just under 5 months. Episodes 2 to 3 was much less at 105 days at exactly 3.5 months. 3 to 4, which is almost over now, is set at even less, 103 days, so it is just under 3.5 months. And 4 to 5, assuming there are no delays, will be a wait of 102 days. This is the least from all of the episodes. This is a combined wait time of 457 days, which is, as I near successfully predicted in my video titled Why Is Life Is Strange 2 Taking So Long, which I made right after episode 1, when we were in the midst of the long winter wait for episode 2. So this is a problem in itself, as I mentioned in that video. But there was so little to fear, naturally, because the marketing department at Square Enix would be able to save us through the small teasers, developer updates, and general fan hype through their social media accounts. Right? Right? It turns out, no, not really. Because here we sit, waiting for episode 4, less than 3 weeks away and the biggest announcement we've had at the time of me writing this script is the Twitter post by the Life is Strange account, with 4 images consisting of some sort of lead pipe, an etch -a sketch with a car on it, some scissors and a match, with the hint that these are non-spoilers that detail some of episode 4 but with no context, if that makes sense. I should really write these scripts when I'm not exhausted and surviving on what little coffee I can find in the house at like 3 in the morning. My life is a mess, but you all knew that. Anyway, do you see the issue? Like, we've been waiting now for nearly three and a half months for episode 4, which is an incredibly long time to wait and with absolutely no press and hype around it, like not even a mention on the social media accounts. The developer updates, which were introduced last year during the long wait for episode 2, came to a seemingly abrupt end on March 15th, when the last one was posted almost two months before the launch of episode 3. For those two months, and the three and a half months that came after, we've had zero developer updates, which we were promised would fulfil the long wait times between episodes back in November, but they haven't. No activity on Twitter or Tumblr. The closest thing that we get to marketing are clips from the previous episode with captions that inspire like generic conversation about people's lives outside of Life is Strange, such as talking about washing the dishes with a clip of Daniel in episode 3 doing just that. Like yeah, it's activity, sure, but it doesn't inspire any discussion about the game. We even had the talented Lucy Hale making Life is Strange themed videos for the YouTube channel, promising an insight into the universe with exclusive insight from behind the scenes. Stuff like character profiles, things you may have missed, things like that. And it's definitely a welcome addition to the game's marketing sphere and presence on the internet and the videos are very high quality and well produced. But it's just not enough. It does little to reinforce the hype for episode 4 which died honestly like 2 weeks after episode 3's launch and will only be revived in the coming days and weeks as more promotional material is finally announced for the 4th instalment. And this does have a knock on effect for the series in terms of its player base. There are a lot less dedicated fans in the Life is Strange 2 fanbase. 
Engagement on Twitter and Instagram is much lower than some of the previous games, and while this may not count for much, some people that I've spoken to actually forget that the game exists for a while in between episodes. Nothing's done to remind us that episode 4 is coming out, and it causes disengagement between fans of the game and the game itself. The supporting argument that the Life is Strange Twitter account seems to echo with its latest post was that everything was a spoiler up at this point, and I get that, I do. But there are different ways they can hype us up for episodes than posting spoilers. For example, they could post some pictures of concept art or locations that don't give away anything, items that we might collect on the journey such as collectibles, that would be interesting, perhaps a non-spoilery peek into Sean's backpack. More character profiles by Lucy Hale is also something in that I know is quite requested, and there is an abundance of interesting characters to make videos about, strewn throughout Life is Strange too. Some behind the scenes things would also not go amiss, stuff like cut content from previous episodes is always interesting to look at, you know, early concept art for characters, developers talking about how they came up with certain ideas, their reasoning behind it, you know, the road trip they went on to plan this game. I think they may seriously underestimate how intrigued we get with this type of small detail, it's really spoiler free too. Another thing that was interesting about the previous LAS game, and before the storm, was that the voice actors would often do AMAs on Reddit, livestream themselves, playing the game, stuff like that. More interviews on what they felt like creating certain scenes, I remember for example Rihanna DeVry talking about playing Chloe in Before the Storm, which was honestly a good sight into development, whereas we've seen Sean's voice actor Gonzalo Martin in Sean cosplay reenacting the ending of episode 1, but beyond this, nothing. Obviously you get the odd posts on Instagram, but I really remember specific things like Kylie, Rachel's voice actress in Before the Storm, hinting that episode 3 would be an emotional one and something to look out for on Twitter. These type of things don't spoil much, if anything, for the episodes, they just add hype, they spark discussion within communities such as subreddit and discord servers. As an active member and moderator of a Life is Strange centric discord server, which you should totally join by the way, I can say, hand on heart, that the dedicated community of Life is Strange 2 would love more material for the game like this. The little hints and promises that were going to be blown away by the next episode go a long way into sparking discussion and theory brewing, which could, in turn, bring in more members of the community. There is the other side of marketing that I have to acknowledge, things that have proven to be successful in the past. The marketing team at Square Enix has took a lot on board seemingly from our criticism during the episode 2 wait and boy did we criticise them. So we look at this time frame after that leading up to episode 3, those three and a half months during which I made my best Life is Strange 2 video apparently. Anyway, I digress. We look at this and what do we find? Well, the absence of dev updates for the majority of the way is there, however closer to the episode, Square Enix has released many teasers. Some pages from Sean's diary from in between leaving Beaver Creek and finding his way to Humboldt County were shown on their Twitter, releasing the key art along with a time lapse of all of the edits and creative effort that went into it. As per the efforts of Jawa Lee and Edward Kaplan, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and the previously on segment which begins before each episode of Life is Strange 2. These were all excellent engagement strategies to keep us hooked into Life is Strange 2's storyline and universe with the release schedule, and they definitely made the right decision to release the update schedule for the episodes. Might have been more interesting to see a developer roadmap of sorts similar to what has been done for Fallout 76, for example where new content is announced with some basic concept art and teasers months in advance. And I must appreciate that with episode 4, it's difficult to pull off non-spoilery marketing due to the nature of episode 3 being left on a sharp cliffhanger. I mentioned this before, but at this point everything is a spoiler. The Life is Strange Twitter account mentioned it and I can see why they're being so conservative with releasing material on the game. However, the game will get a launch trailer the week before release, so I don't see how they're going to avoid spoilers in that event. Are they just going to obscure Sean's face for the entire thing? His eye is probably one of the biggest spoilers, however, this doesn't stop them doing spoiler free promotion, you know, like I talked about before, or like hinting and teasing rather than releasing details. They've done it before and know how to do it. The two week marketing scheme really worked for BTS and LAS, where waits between episodes were much shorter, but due to the longer waits, it's imperative that they should scale up the length of promotion with the release of episodes, otherwise the hype is lost. You need to maintain it to a standard where the fall off for attention isn't months long. Part of what made Life is Strange and Before the Storm so cool was the intense discussion that took place between episodes. Now, having discovered the first game after episode 5's release, I can't really comment on it, but for Before the Storm, I sat through the 2 month wait time each time, and the discussion was rampant between episodes, yet with Life is Strange 2, that discussion's kinda absent, and when I do see it, it's 
scarce and kind of dull, repetitive, you know? Like in the Discord server, which you should totally join, link in the description, you can see that the discussion does take place, but there isn't much to talk about. Hype tends to start rising a couple of weeks before the episode where the first bits of promotional material are released. It peaks right before the episode releases and stays high for a week or two as YouTubers and streamers play it and we talk about it, while the first reviews and theory videos are made, which I can't really make quickly because unlike a lot of YouTubers who do that, I don't get the early codes from Square Enix, so therefore by the time I upload them, you know, they've already been released to the internet and nothing that I can contribute is new or exciting. Psst. Square Enix, it's not too late to make amends. I will happily review episode 5 if you give me an early access code. Just saying. As I was saying, hype isn't very evenly distributed among an episode's release with this game, which lessens the overall impression of the game. It has a detrimental effect on the episodes as a whole, as the player base's interest is not as engaged as it should have been at all times. To conclude, yes, I see the need to keep things spoiler free and why that throws a spanner into the works in terms of advertising and marketing in the game's upcoming episodes. I understand the need to keep things under wraps in order to craft a spoiler free experience. What I don't understand is why Square Enix haven't tried to employ spoiler free marketing and engagement tactics, why they haven't done voice actor interviews or concept art or talked about cooked content or released developer updates on how they're excited to show us the trailer or talk about when teasers are coming out or leave us clues, you know, things to speculate about or intrigue us a bit but I rest my case in saying that it's been subpar but I still love the game with all of my heart. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it's probably been a lot less organised than my usual content. If anything didn't make sense it's because I recorded the script at 3am and I wrote it at 3am the day before. If you'd like to see more Life is Strange YouTube videos, then subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to be updated whenever I release a new video. I post semi-regularly about all things Life is Strange and I'm sure you'll love it. If you want to join our Discord server where we talk about Life is Strange 2 daily, where wonderful people, myself included, love to chit chat, then feel free. The link is in the description. I also have a Fiverr account where you can pay me to narrate anything you'd like, for example, a Life is Strange video for your YouTube channel. I do weddings and bar mitzvahs as well. And follow me on Twitter, where I mostly repost videos of red pandas, questionable memes, and tweet about Life is Strange. You'll be sure to find something you like on there, so click the link in the description. I have more social medias, but I feel like I've advertised myself to death, so I'll see myself out. I really hope you enjoyed, love you all, remember to keep your cucumbers serrated, and have a nice day. Bye guys, and hope you're hyped for episode 4, because I sure as hell am. I need more coffee.